Hi guys, it's Hannah from Trek It with uh, Harry behind the camera as usual. Uh, and we have come up to North Wales. So lockdown is finally over and we can finally travel a little bit more. So we've celebrated by coming up <laughs> to North Wales for a few days to do some filming for you guys. Um, so we are sat up in the Ogwen Valley. So our car's right down at the bottom and we've walked up. So um, over to my right, we've got Triffin, Glidavau, Glidavach, the Ogwen Valley behind me and Egan right behind me in the distance there with Llyn Ogwen. Uh, just down behind me too. Um, and then over onto my left, we've got Penny Rolwyn, all of the kind of eye, and it's just beautiful. It's such a uh, s s stunning, it's just such a great day. Feels really good to be back out again uh, and to be talking to you guys. <laughs> so we've come up here and today I'm going to talk to you about Montaigne's Trailblazer 16 pack. Now this is a really, really close fitting pack. Uh, really carries the weight very, very well. Uh, this is my own pack. Uh, I've had it for a few months. Uh, well, yeah, a couple of months. And uh, so I apologize if there's any scuffs or <laughs> scrapes on it. The one that you get will uh, will be a bit neater. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I in this video, I'm just gonna take you through uh, the fit, the features, the material, and just give you a bit more of an inside look into our um, the Montaigne Trailblazer 16. So stay tuned to the end of the video to learn all about it. Okay guys, just before we get on with the rest of the video, if you hit that shiny subscribe button and then hit the little bell icon, you'll get a notification every time we post a video. So we've stocked the unisex version of the Trailblazer for a couple of years now and uh, we've all used it and we absolutely love it. And finally, this season, Montaigne released their women's specific version. So uh, the back system and um, is a little bit smaller and the shoulder straps sit a little bit narrower. So they're just a bit more suited to the women's specific frame. As I'll show you in the features bit, there's still plenty of adjustability though. So it doesn't just work for slimmer women but um, it works across a really wide range of body types. So the 16 litre version is the perfect size for day trips and shorter adventures. So it's got um, obviously quite a lot of carrying space. So when you still need all that space to carry all of your essential kit, this is it. But it sits a lot snugger and a lot more stable than a standard day pack. So if you've been on the hunt for a super stable uh, little day pack with really, really clever pockets and carrying capabilities, then this is the pack that you're going to want to look at. So not only does it suit um, walks and hiking, but also thanks to that stability and all the great adjustment, it actually suits fast packing and a bit of trail running as well. So the bulk of the pack is made using a really tough and abrasion resistant 70 denier nylon. Now, like I said, I've had this pack for a couple of months uh, and I've used it a lot. Like I, I take it out maybe once or twice a week and you can see it's still looking brand new. It's really impressive. Um, so that 70 denier nylon is then given a, a DWR coating, so that's a durable water repellent coating, and that'll just help uh, bead off um, any rain um, and just kind of protects a bit more from the elements. It obviously doesn't make the pack waterproof, so um, just to protect your bits, uh, we would recommend using dry bags on the inside of your bag. So if we spin the pack around then, look, so that is the back panel and the shoulder straps. You get this really lovely um, air mesh. Now, uh, this is contact air mesh. So what this air mesh does basically is it helps uh, the sweat kind of escape from your body. It doesn't, doesn't build up sweat underneath it. Um, it's really comfortable and it's just really breathable. Um, yep, it's a really lovely material and sits really nicely um, on your skin. So if you're wearing it with a vest top, it doesn't chafe, doesn't rub, and just uh, doesn't, doesn't hold any sweat. So it's lovely. Okay, so let's break down this back system a little bit. So the back system on the Trailblazer 16 uses a women's specific covalent harness. So it's a bit shorter and a little bit narrower than the unisex equivalent, except for in the hips where it is ever so slightly wider. But I do just while we're here, just wanna take a closer look at this hip belt. 
So if you imagine a standard day pack, you get these uh, little thin um, hip belts which start quite far back on the pack itself. Um, it adds a little bit of stability and support, but it doesn't do all that much. Um, but then if you look at these, um, the hip belt on the Trailblazer, so you've got, got your little webbing strap in the front, um, which just kind of cuts down on, on bulk and weight, but then it joins these big hip fins. Now these hip fins sit, uh, sit around your hips and like pull in really snug to your hips uh, and just really adds that extra bit of stability into your pack. So it means that the pack moves with you and doesn't like bounce up and down separately to you when you're like running downhill. Um, so yeah, it just, the result is that you get these, uh, this kind of almost like a hugging effect where the bag, the bag like hugs around your hips um, and moves with you. So let's have a little look at these chest straps. Um, these are one of my low key favorite features on the whole pack. I think they're so clever. So um, the chest straps, so on the women's pack, you get two of them. So you get two that come across your chest, um, mainly because it can be quite uncomfortable to have a strap that sits right across the middle of your bust. So with two straps, you can move them up and down. So with two straps, you can have one underneath and just one over the top. And it just makes it all a bit more stable, but without having that like added pressure across your bust. Um, so the chest straps use Montaigne's click and go system. Um, so like I said, you can move this side up and down like the length of this pocket. Um, and then on the other side, it works a bit like a magnet, um, which it's not a magnet, it's hard to explain, but it has a little, uh, little catch on it, which you just clip on. And then that lateral pull will not pull it off. So what you need to do is you grab hold of this little toggle and you just pull it away from you. It makes a really satisfying little click. Um, so it's really easy to get on and off if, like today, if you're wearing gloves. Um, but yeah, and it's just really easy to use uh, and really, really strong. Now looking at the back panel itself, now unlike the uh, bigger versions, the uh, 16 doesn't have as much foam behind the air mesh, but it does still have a little thin bit of foam and that just gives it a bit more shape and structure and it's just a bit more comfortable. So it means if you've got any sharp bits in your pack, then they don't dig into your back. So just having a look at these shoulder straps then, you can see at the top they sit quite wide. What that means is that um, it shares the, spreads the load across your shoulders really well. And again, just adds to that stability. I mean, you can see that this pack, every single detail has been considered to, um, to make it as stable as possible so that you can cross over from hiking to running if you wanted to. So let's break down the features. <laughs> okay, so let's break down the features. Um, we're here already, so we'll start on the front. So you get these two lovely big pockets in the front, which can be used for a little water bottle or your phone or your compass, kind of bits that you'll need to get to quite quickly. Um, so those have really big zips on them and they open right up. You then at the front as well, you have this little attachment point. Now what this attachment point is for is for your walking poles. So you put them in through that and then down diagonally down your back and thread it through there. Um, before we move on to the rest of the pockets, actually, the, uh, the actual straps on the shoulder straps are just worth an, a mention. So instead of a, a single strap that pulls down to the hip fins, you get two. And what that means is that, uh, depending on your, your body shape, um, you can adjust the two straps separately. So you could just uh, adjust the one on the left-hand side and then have that uh, a little bit longer, which would be useful if you had slightly wider hips and a slightly narrower torso. Um, but yep, it just gives you, again, just a bit more adjustability to make it as stable as possible. Uh, these hip fin pockets then are one of my favorite bits. So a nice big zip that go all the way down and then these big stretchy pockets. I mean, they're huge, like my whole hand's in there. Um, so what these pockets are kind of best used for is bits that you'll need um, while you're, you're out on your run or your hike you know, without needing to stop. So maybe snack, uh, your snacks, um, 
your compass, uh, your, um, I don't know, I don't even know what else I use. That sheep is staring at you. And actually, the great thing about all these pockets is that you can access them while you're moving. So your hip fin pockets you can get to while you're moving, your shoulder strap pockets. Um, you don't need to take off your pack to access them. And then for your other bigger bits, you'd sash them inside the big main compartment. So um, looking round the front of the pack then, so you get these little webbing loops down the side. Now that's where you'd add maybe a bit of bungee. Um, so you uh, could crisscross the bungee and um, add uh, just adds a bit more storage space, so you can put your waterproof jacket in that, um, or you can um, you can tighten up the bungees and just bring all of that a bit closer into your back. Um, you then get a lovely, generously sized front pocket. Really, really good place to put a map or your guidebook, something that you might need to get to quite quickly. Um, and then it has also a whole host of these lovely, lovely little, um, just little organizer pockets. Uh, and this one here opens up and has a little key clip so that you always know where your keys are. And at the end of the day, you don't have to rummage all the way back through your bag and try and find them. It's uh, the worst part of the trip for me. <laughs> So I've just had to tip all my stuff out. <laughs> but then looking into the main compartment pocket then, it's just a lovely big open space. Nothing too technical and fancy going on here. It's just a lovely big bucket that you can just chuck all of your bits into. There is place for a water bladder as well. So that is on the outside of the pack so you don't have to get all of your stuff out when you need to refill it. It just sits down behind that main compartment and the back system um, and has a little bit, uh, a little Velcro um, hanging loop. So you can thread that through your bladder and it just keeps it you know, up in the proper shape rather than sinking down to the bottom when it's half full. And then this little webbing loop here at the bottom of the main compartment it's just a really good place to pop a little bike light if that's, uh, if that's what you're going to use this bag for. So that's it guys, that is the really beautiful Montane Trailblazer 16. Uh, I've wanted this pack for ages, but the unisex one was a little bit too big for me. Uh, so I'm really, really grateful that they brought out the women's version. Um, I really adore this pack. I take it out all the time um, and it's become one of my, one of my go-to little packs actually. It just suits pretty much everything that I do. To go and check out the range uh, and to head to our website to learn a little bit more about them, then click the link on the screen. Uh, and if you love the video, you love the content that we're putting out, then hit that like button and subscribe. We really do appreciate it, guys. Otherwise, that's it from me and Harry for this video. We will see you soon. Bye.